So the first thing to learn here is why we should use comments. So for example, this is a code. So when I have a button, so for example, I have this BTN class. So I have two selectors that I'm using and I have also using table. We should guide ourselves and also anyone will work on the same file in the future that this part of code is doing something or this piece of code is doing something or this line, for example, if it's a hack, for example, I'm using this background here as a hack for a specific browser. We use comments so in order to guide ourselves and anyone that will work in this file in the future. If you are collaborating on the same file, you should guide and give some notes about a part of the code or a specific line. So now let's just move to the next question how to write a comment. To write a comment is straightforward. You just need to write the syntax. So the slash, then asterisk, and we put the comment inside here. And we have after we finish the comment, so we have the asterisk and slash. So you can put so your content here, which means that I'm giving an idea on so that this piece of code, it is a button. So for example, I use button here and I can put that in multi-lines. So you are free to add multi-lines or any content. If you wanna just give it some style, you can add some asterisks right here. So it doesn't affect the comment. You can add any other symbols. So you don't have to use asterisks. Let's just use, for example, this syntax, the symbol right here, okay? It just give it some style. And this is how we write multi-line multi, multi -line comments. If you wanna, for example, I'll just copy that and put it before table, which means that I'm organizing my code so that the first part is for buttons and the second part is for table. So I'm just giving an idea for myself and for anyone who will work on this file that these are two separate files and each one is for a specific UI. Okay, now if I want, for example, tell someone that I'm using this margin right here, so as a hack for Internet Explorer 10 or whatever, so you can, for example, use that, use a single line comment, okay, by writing the syntax and tell him that this is a hack for IA6. So I, I'm sure that this is an old way, but I'm just showing you if you want to just, no one is working now with IA6, but I'm just showing you that. But in general, so if you want to create a single line comment, you just need to write it like that in one line. And by writing comments, as they already said, you're just telling yourself and anyone will work in your file in the future. Maybe you are working an open source project and you need to give people some guidance that this part of the code is for buttons or so, so it can be a little bit complex when you are dealing with CSS. But in general, if you are working in some complex programming languages, when you are working on some features, comments are super important. But even for CSS, sometimes you are working in a complex user interface and you wanna tell people, so this part of the code is doing something and it, by doing that. So the first thing is not only comment, but also you need to write an organized code and a well written CSS code. But to support all of that, you just need to add the comments to give a better or a clear idea on what your code is doing.